Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna give you another plugins pack and this time it's about transitions. But before the start of today's tutorial and video, please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment under the comment section to show support or ask me if you have any questions. So let's get started. Basically today I'm giving you 10 transitions and they are all about pixels and sort of like a prism effect on top of these pixels. The link to download this folder will be in the description box. You can just download it from the Google Drive, unzip if you need and you know just find LC pixel and you can double click to just to check how many subfolders are there. There should be 10 of them and remember to just copy this folder and go to go home movies motion templates and transitions and just paste it over here that's all you need to do for installation also remember to check out the 30 plus transitions pack if you have not yet check it out it's pretty dope restart your final cut pro go to the transitions tab and go to lc pixel you can find it over here you can close this part of the panel and you can see 10 of them so how to apply them is pretty simple Let's assume that you have already, you know, shortened these two clips to a really great extent and you have enough media room to create transitions. You can just drag any of them, simply just drag, for example, up prism and just put it over here. Yep, the default one is pretty short. If you want to lengthen it, it's pretty simple. Drag it over and let it render and hit play. You can really see the pixel you know, being flying above and there is a little bit of prism effect over there. And yep, that's about it. If you don't want to have such a long transition, you can just shorten it to be a really short one. I'm not gonna show you, just pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna show you another one, maybe up, with no you know prism effect and it's pretty clean and it takes much shorter time to render it out so if you don't like prism maybe you just go for the simple neat uh, you know without prism effect transitions for example down left right you know without the bracket and a prism in between these brackets and once you hit play yep pretty much that's about it and today I'm not going to show you all the examples because I don't think it's necessary. You can just have fun and edit accordingly. Uh, but before the end of today's video, please remember you can change up some of the settings over here. For example, the distort amount. Like this. Or the fuzziness, which is the shakiness of this. Yep. But uh, I recommend to just make these settings as default because you know I kind of adjust it to what I like and I think I assume that it will be you know best for your transitions. And that's the end of today's video. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And once again, please, if you really like this video or like this channel, just drop a comment to show your support. Your support really means a lot to me. Thank you very much and bye bye.